Alright yeah, lads, so we've done it. God knows how we've done it man, but we've done it. Come on, speak to, speak to me through that. Well before the game I, got, I went in with a sore throat and it's I probably made a lot worse, but uh, I genuinely didn't know what was going on. Um, Dwight Gill got the third goal. Yeah. You like a celebration then, as well? And then it was like a double celebration, we don't know what was going on and I was, ask, I was asking, oh, get on your phone, get on your phone, because mine wasn't working. Yeah. Communications were down, people couldn't get on the internet because everyone was on the phone. I was like, what's... I was like, nobody was knowing then rumours were going around that Villa had scored of 10 men. And uh, I was like, have you seen the, seen the incident? Brighton's player dives and if that went down... Oh yeah. my god! <laughs> get a penalty, that went, no way! If that went down for a referee decision, that would have, we would have kicked off big time. But, it's beautifully um, ironic that the championship was decided on a bad referee decision. It's just, it's a lot to take in, it's, I'm quite exhausted, but in a happy way, you know yeah. what I mean? I'm absolutely delighted, we've gone up as champions, so... It's just, I can't believe, I don't know how we did it. Like, because um, I just thought it was, game we got. It, was, it was down in the dumps, wasn't it? Well, we said all in the fan camps, I think pretty much everyone we interviewed said it's gone. Including it's Gordy. Gone. Including the guy behind the camera. <laughs> So-called expert. Hey, me? What are you on about? What are you on about? Titans gone. Yeah, Titans yeah, gone. no, no, no. No, no. Oh, man. What a day. Oh, man. So, I mean, how, how did this happen? Because last time I was speaking to you guys, Brighton were winning it, basically. I mean... Well, they completely went off the boil this season because they lost their. Well, they lost. They lost away to Norwich. They lost at home to Bristol. Yeah, they've blown it, haven't they? It's but they've done that now three seasons in a row, haven't they? I was going to say, it's got to be commiseration for Chris here. I mean, I mean, surely. Do Brighton go deserve these champions? Oh, I don't know. It's that tough one. I mean, I would probably. We, we both tried very hard to not win the title for some. Yeah. Got no reason. Uh, that is a good summary of it. We both tried not to win it and we ended up winning it. Well, the thing is, is that it was like, it was like my best point was um, if we didn't win the league, it's like, oh, if we beat Bristol City at home, but even Brighton couldn't do I, that. I think, I think the win against uh, Preston, which got us the promotion, yeah. it gave the fans and us the lift, because then we played Cardiff and won, yeah. and that stacked the pressure well, on the Well, the thing is that as soon as that Brighton. happened, because we were all promoted so early, yeah. we, we just played with no pressure. And you rotated the squad yeah. as well? We rotated the squad, we played with, 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 we've always said, you know, these guys are our Premier League players, we didn't play with any of them against Cardiff. One, no pressure on us, and then we come to say all we had to do was win, and then just just sort of hope for Brighton. All yeah. we could do was win. It seemed at the end, which is that, this is why, as we've said, this is why a cup of football in it. It was yeah. just the scenes. I mean, everyone off the feet clapping, Matt Ritchie, Rafa Benitez, and so on and so on. Yeah. Um, everyone's over the moon. It's just it's why a cup of football. Days like this, it's unreal, man. Isn't it? I mean, what about the game itself? I mean, it was a standout performance today that I was shocked with. I have to give Iosi Perez. I was going to say, I was going to say, is, is he? Seen? What a performance that is. That's generally speaking, I think that's his best ever yeah. in a black and white shirt. He was he was on another level. He was just like, this, he was like, he was this is why Barcelona were linked to him. Yeah. Played with like freedom, that. took the ball. The finish was unbelievable. I don't know if you've seen it. I don't know if you've seen it. I was there. <laughs> you were the wrong end up. <laughs> I'm trying, I can't remember much about the. About I'd the like the perfect itself. angle. Uh, <laughs> I have to say Jack Corbett was outstanding as well. He was he good. Lot of did he get yellow card today as well? I, I can't remember. I don't think he did. He was absolutely outstanding. He got a lot of stick by Newcastle fans. Oh, yeah. Defence were in trouble, I have to say. They were, what about Chancel? Remember, yeah. come on. Oh, oh, to get your first he's a close defender. <laughs> oh, never gives a ball. Away. And I, I didn't know what that chap was. I was trying to figure it out. When he scored. <laughs> oh, he scored I'm not man. It's crazy. So what do you reckon this means to Rafa then? Come on. This means... Oh. He's still got that meeting with, uh, with Ashley. This meeting. <laughs> this, this meeting. This, this, this I'm, meeting. I'm generally, I've got good feelings about it, mate. Yeah, well, the, the feeling's good. How can Mike, how can Mike Ashley turn to Rafa and Mike, say... Do you know him on a personal level or something? I do, actually. <laughs> Yo, Mike, you know can't get rid of Rafa. <laughs> you, you know. No, I'm doing an appeal. It's like, Mike. Come Mike, on. if you're watching. You know, big Mike. <laughs> <laughs> big Mac. <laughs> I, I think it's, we're going to have this every year. I generally think this will happen. I know, year. it's God's sake, man. Rafa hasn't got the security, and I do think that you'll get the funds. It's just a question of how much, because it's down, uh, it's down to the club, not Ashley. You can't just say there's 100 million because we might not afford it. Mr. Ashley, but can't, I, I can't think that after this, he can't turn around and say, no, I'm not going to do it. I think what's important for me is player sales. He gets the money from player sales as well. Yeah. Fingers crossed it goes well, I am confident. So how much do you reckon he needs to do his job effectively next it season? Depends, for me, it depends on how many we sell. Because yeah. we've got Tauvin, mm. nine and a half million, he's going to head off. Tauvin, maybe Tim Krull, maybe there's 15 million from them three. 
and then a lot of the, a lot of the squad need to go. So it might not even be that much, you know. It might just be between 30 and 50 minutes. We got the 30 million pounds last summer in profit. I saw somewhere that this promotion's worth like 100 million quid or something. Go and get Guilty tickets. Go and get it. I think it'll be difficult. Why not? Go and get Daniel Sturridge. Yes, he's not match fit, but he's a guaranteed goal scorer. Be interesting. I'm, even I'm, get that. Even get that little man down the road. He gets the goals. It's controversial, but he scores goals. I mean, I, I, that's going to be a big. That's going to be a good podcast. It is. It's going to be a good. Very podcast. interesting. Very interesting. Okay. Any final thoughts? Champion! Gonna... <laughs> Champion! <laughs> <laughs> Love it.